Hello. Welcome to our community because turning pain into power is sexy. So, oh my goodness, so many things going on right now. Um, wonderful things. It is the new year. Happy New Year. Happy 2024 to those of you, those of us who have made it here. And wherever here is, when I say have made it here, I don't mean just into the new year. I mean here in our energetic bodies, have made it here mentally, have made it here physically, have made it here energetically is what I mean. None of us are who we used to be, especially if you've been on this journey of turning your pain into power. We know what crossing those burning sands is, what it means to travel through the dark night of the soul journey. And I'm here to tell you, baby, you're not alone. And I'm so damn proud of you. Oh, I'm so damn proud of all of you. Every subscriber here on Alchemenity, you're here because you were called to be here. You wouldn't be here if, if I wasn't sharing something that resonated with you on a soul level. If you are subscribed here, thank you for subscribing here. Obviously, what I say, what I share, what I speak about, what I write about, resonates with you and I am so happy to know it. For those of you who aren't subscribed here, what the hell are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I mean like you do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Listen, I coming on here to do this video as quick as I can, y'all. I've had a very long week since the beginning of the year. Um, currently, you can probably tell I'm in a different location. I am not at my home. Um, I am out of state right now. I won't say where, but I am out of state right now. I'm currently in a hotel. Um, and um, so I will be here for um, where I am for a little while, at least until um, the entire month of January. And then I'll be back home in Georgia. And um, that'll be that. So anyway, I still want to be able to come here, you know, release weekly content, information, insight, uploads, downloads for those of you this channel is meant for. For those of you I am meant for. I promise not to neglect this, not to neglect you. Um, this has been a journey since 2018. And even though I am busy innovating and building and taking new amazing paths in my life. Let me tell y'all, things have just, Janu January 2024 has started out with an amazing bang. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the opportunities that have presented themselves to me, which is why I'm out of town right now. I won't talk about any of that right now. Um, I'll talk, I'll share it when it's time to share it. Okay. So anyway, this video is on, um, again, um, you know, this channel is geared around and centered around all things having to do with sensuality and sexuality as it relates to your mental health, as it relates to your personal development. Again, Alchemenity, it's in the name because turning pain into power is sexy. Alchemenity um, is a fusion brand. It is my fusion brand. So this is where I educate, chat with you and you chat with me and we dialogue and we have this powwow about turning pain into power, what that looks like, how to do that. Um, as it relates to activating our sensuality and sexuality, again, for the purpose of your mental health and your personal development. When people hear sexuality education, their minds go somewhere else. I know there are some folks who think because I'm a sexuality educator, educator, that I'm some sort of sex worker, that I'm, you know, I, someone asked me if I was a hoe one time. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You probably saw that in my last video. One of my last videos, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's titled The Fundamental Difference Between Sex and Sexuality Education. All right, so let's get into it, y'all. So um, this video is on um, sexual ideologies around trauma and relationships. That's not what I'm going to title this video. This is just it roughly right now. I just looked at the time and it was 441 and now it's 444. So I know this message is meant to come out now. Um, what motivated me to want to share this um, 
was due to a relationship that I was in some years ago. Okay. This was years ago. I don't know how long now, maybe five years ago, relationship that I was in or situationship, I should say that I was in, um, with this, with this guy. And, um, I lived in a small town at the time. I, I lived in LaGrange, Georgia. And, um, I met this, this guy and we, you know, started to get to know each other and long story short, that was one of those relationships, y'all. That was one of those relationships. You ever heard of those ladies? And, you know, my work is geared around women and girls. And if you call yourself a woman, that's fine too. Whatever floats your boat. If the message resonates with you, that's fine with me as long as it is helping you to activate your superpower. Okay. You know those relationships with that guy? And we say, we call that relationship devil dick. <laughs> right? If you have not heard of devil dick, use your imagination. Use your imagination. But in a nutshell, the guy with the devil dick, okay, is the guy that you have probably had some of the greatest sex with. So good that it became so bad. And I'll talk about what that means. <laughs> so I was in this situation ship with this guy who I would consider the devil dick. All right. He had the devil dick, meaning sex between us was so powerful that it disempowered me. It was so powerful that it disempowered me. What I want to hone in on, and I'll go back to that in just a bit, but what I want to hone in on is the fact that when we think about healing sexual trauma, when we think about developing ourselves personally, you know, you hear people talk about healing um, or removing um, sexual ties we've had with somebody. This is why some people may practice celibacy and abstinence because they don't want to have these energetic sexual ties to people. For those of you who know how energy works, right? It can't be destroyed or duplicated or replicated, but merely transferred or something around the Newton's law, right? For those of you that know, then you know the energy of sex or sexuality or sensuality is very, very powerful and very very real and when people talk about sexual ties this is what they talk about so some some of us have had these sexual ties with those men we consider to have had devil dick and now we also hear people saying how to heal from that how to remove those certain sexual ties what i want to hone in on i want to i want to dive just a little bit deeper on healing these parts right in order to activate our superpower Right. In order to come into alignment, not only just healing from not only just removing those ties, but you want to remove those ties because those ties have a tie on your purpose and your power and your mission and your voice and your mind and your body and your je ne sais quoi and your gifts and your skills and your talents. People don't realize. And this is what I'm here. That's OK. People don't realize. And this is what I'm here to share and educate. This is what I do. OK. People don't realize that unhealthy sexual ties or sexual energy or um, having having sexual connection with an unhealthy person. And that doesn't just mean physically. I mean, unhealthy person mentally, an unhealthy person spiritually, an unhealthy person um, um, energetically, okay, physically too, right, affects you. And it affects you on multiple levels. People don't understand, and I don't say people don't understand, but I want you to understand, just get general people, I'm just speaking to you, right? This is a dialogue between us. But I want us to really understand, understand, understand and understand the impact of sexual connections with people, the trauma that that brings energetically that we don't even know, we don't even see, not at face value, until we look at our lives, 
You ever been with the devil dick guy? Think about it. When I mention devil dick, your mind probably goes to, to him or them. Okay. When I mention devil dick, your mind is already thinking about that person. You already know who it is. Whoever that is, who the first person that pops into your mind. Yeah. Him. Right. But you can probably pinpoint the time that you were with him when he was in your life, that your life was probably had prop was probably doing pretty okay. Then you met him and shit just started happening. Shit started happening to you on a physical level, mental level, spiritual level. Your skin started breaking out. You're like, why the fuck is my skin breaking out? I'm using the same products I've been using. Skin breaking out. Do you know that being in an unhealthy sexual connection with somebody can give you bad skin? Can cause you to have bad skin? Hmm? Do you know that being in an unhealthy sexual connection with somebody can cause you to gain weight? An unhealthy weight. There's nothing wrong with being thick, full, whatever, whatever your choice is. But it can cause you to be unhealthy on a physical level. Right. If you don't want to gain weight, you want to keep a, a balanced body, a pretty, pretty healthy body, okay? body weight, body health, whatever. And you enter into a sexual connection with somebody whose energy was low vibrational. You notice that your body increases in weight in an unhealthy way. Now, I'm not talking about that love weight. We all know the love weight. You meet somebody, you fall in love most of the time when you're not aligned yet to your mission and your power and your purpose you can meet somebody fall in love honey and if you're not really conscious okay about your role in life and what you're supposed to be doing you can easily be distracted because when you meet somebody and fall in love what you're doing you're cooking all the time and you're laying up just cooking and laying up eating and laying up eating and laying up eating and laying what you want baby you want breakfast you want lunch you want dinner he cooking for you you cooking for him Re massaging each other and you're laying down and you're doing that a lot every day <laughs> right just fucking and eating <laughs> okay <laughs> so i'm not talking about um the love weight all right i'm not talking about that i'm talking about unhealthy weight gain this is a sign that you are in a unhealthy sexual connection with somebody. These are the signs. Your skin is breaking out. You're gaining unhealthy weight. Maybe you're losing unhealthy weight. Okay. Um, these are just things that start to change aesthetically. Um, you're dropping things, breaking things, losing things. I'm here in India, I read, lost myself on again the other day. I don't want to live this way now. In the back of my mind, I hear my mama say, slow down, baby, you're going too fast. You got your hands in the air with your feet on the gas. You're about to wreck your future, running from your past. You need to slow down, baby. Mm. You're breaking things, you're losing things. The weight, unhealthy weight, the skin, your hair is probably thinning. Your hair probably used to be a little bit full. I mean, maybe you didn't have it down your back, but you know, you had some hair, right? That is changing. The edge is dissipating, okay? <laughs> I know some of you laughing, but real talk. These are the signs to look for when you are in an unhealthy sexual connection with someone. And so when we talk about activating our superpower, we must come into the realization of this. I mean, this is, this is real talk. And so once you realize that, and maybe some of you have come out of a situation like that, maybe some of you are in a situation like that right now. Okay. Um, in order to activate your superpower, the work would be obviously done within in order to activate your purpose and your mission the work will be done within being in an unhealthy sexual connection blocks you from your mission and purpose in life you would have you would be out of alignment with your mission 
and your purpose being in an unhealthy sexual connection because devil dicks <laughs> right and I'm just joking about that but um being in these unhealthy sexual connections blind you from yourself you're not able to clearly see yourself you're not able to feel into yourself because your focus is probably on and with this person right where are they at what they doing, who they're with, right? Whatever the case, whatever questions come up in your mind, okay? When you don't heal after you've released yourself from these connections, maybe you finally, you know, found the strength to walk away and pull away. I did. This was, again, this was some years ago. This was after my ex-fiance and I split up and this was a person that I met um, not too long after my ex-fiance had gone our separate ways. And I didn't, my ex-fiance really tried to make the relationship work. He didn't want it to be over. He even decided to wait until I went through whatever I needed to go through and wanted to get back together. And by that time I had met Devil Dick. By that time I had met Devil Dick. So I couldn't even see my ex-fiance anymore. I couldn't even feel him in me anymore because I had replaced him with devil dig. Even though we were separated, we were going our separate ways. The chances of us getting back together were slim to none. And they were because we never did get back together. But the, the opportunity was there. His heart was there. His attention. He wanted this and he was willing to put in all of the work. But I wasn't. And I wasn't because my mind was clouded. My mind was clouded because I had allowed devil dick into my life. Now, do I regret that? There are some times I lo I've looked back, not, not now, okay? But there have been times when I've looked back and I'm like, wow, I was really clouded. My mind was really, really clouded because the only man I had been with since the age of, I met my ex-fiance when I was 18, right? And then he went off to war. I waited for him for the two years he was gone. Nobody else was in my life. Of course, there were men trying to holler. There's always trying to holler. I mean, look at me. Look at me. Shh, you ain't blind, right? But <laughs> I waited for my ex-fiance to come back. So anyway, from the age 18, when I, did I meet him at 18? Yeah, 18 or 19. I'm, yeah, 18 or 19 is when I met my ex-fiance. So my whole young adult life had been with him. And so when we did go our separate ways, I almost felt like a bird out of a cage, so to speak, you know? Um, and I, I wanted to explore other options. I had never done that before in my life. And this person happened to come into my life at the time. And so on this journey, you all, on this journey of uncovering my superpower and activating my superpower and my mission and my purpose, these are the insights that came to me. And um, the work that I had to do, even long after I had, I was able to walk away from Devil Dick, all right, even long after I was able to walk away, I didn't know at that time what energetic work, work was. I had no idea about any of who and what I am now, spiritually and mentally. I had no idea. Um, But coming into the realization of it and looking back, I realized that I was not aligned with my mission and purpose. And part of me not being aligned with my mission and purpose is because energetically I was tied up mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I was tied up. Okay. Um, and why I say this person, well, you know, I, I don't, don't think I express this part, but I call this person devil dick because he was the whole of Babylon. <laughs> Right? He was the hoe of Babylon. And unfortunately, ladies, when we find ourselves wrapped up with devil dick, devil dicks are the hoes of Babylon. <laughs> and those are oftentimes the hardest ones to walk away from. But why are they the hardest ones to walk away from? They're the hardest ones to walk away from because sexual energy is so powerful. They're the hardest to walk away from because sexual energy is God energy. It's 
Creation energy is manifestation energy. It's the root that we talk about, that I talk about all the time. I talk about the root of the thing, the seed. And so I was rooted and grounded in toxic soil. This is where I had allowed my root to be planted. This is where I had allowed my root to be entered. I had allowed toxicity to enter. I had allowed myself to be rooted um, with a person who was the whole of Babylon. <laughs> and so the reason it's hard to walk away from that because that's your root. That's your core. That's your foundation. Everything begins at the root, right? We know this. We talk about this. Everything begins at the root. And so my root was tied up in branches and, 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 and vines and weeds. Okay. Trauma, traumatic ties, right? This person, even though I could feel and knew and even had evidence of this person having multiple partners, right? I didn't pull away for many reasons. His mama loved me, right? His family, whole family loved me. Every time I saw me, they hugged me, they want me to be around. Oh, come here, come to the, right? Um, he would pursue me, you know? So at that time I was still very naive, even though I was an adult, I was still very naive, still not, um, aware of myself and my power but I there was always something in me that knew that this wasn't it and I needed to pull away from it and let me tell y'all pulling away from devil dick is one of the hardest things us women ever have to do one of now pulling away from devil dick is one of the hardest things us women would ever have to do or us born biologically female would ever have to do now, those of us you, if you want to call yourself female or whatever, again, my work is centered around biologically born female and girls. Pulling away from double dick is one of the hardest things you'd ever have to do. And why? Because you have allowed your core foundation and your root to be compromised. And your root down here is the, the doorway or the gateway to your God and goddess. And so instead of you sitting on your throne, You've allowed someone else to enter and occupy your throne. And so now you have to do all this inner work mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally to dethrone that person. <laughs> Hope this all makes sense. It's at 22 minutes. I don't want to make this long. So anyway, how to activate your purpose and your mission and your power begins at the root. And so the moral of this message is to start at the root, to start in your pussies, start in your vagina, start at your vulvas, right? Start to do the work there because that is where everything begins, is at the root. Just like a tree, like a plant, like a flower, think of it as harvest, harvesting and reaping, as gardening and farming. In order to reap the benefits in order to produce your fruits, in order to produce harvest, you must plant that seed in healthy ground, in healthy soil. Do the work to cultivate it, water it, nourish it. It needs light. It also needs the dark. It needs the fertilizer. It needs your attention, your patience, and your love. You need your attention, your patience, and your love. So start at the root to activate your purpose, to activate your superpower, to come back into alignment of why you chose to come to this planet at all. Remember why you chose to come here and then get to work. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, if you haven't gotten your copy of Activate, Unorthodox Philosophies that Explore Anxiety, Depression, and Suicidal Thoughts as Symptoms of Suppressed Superpower, what the hell are you waiting for? Get your copy. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Um, if you haven't gotten your merch, Fear of Feminine Power is a Mental Disorder as well as Pussy Power in relation to this message. Oh, I want you to get both. But the new merch is available, Pussy Power, P-O-O-S-E power. I spell it differently because I define it differently. I define it differently. And you'll know what I mean when you take a look at the merge. You can click the link 
tree link in the description box below. It'll guide you to everywhere that I am. Also, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, I am available for one-on-one -on -one personal development con um, consulting sessions. Forgive me, y'all. I'm tired. I'm going to lay down after this because I got a meeting in like an hour and 40 minutes. So another meeting. I've been up since 5 a.m. every day this week. Haven't gotten in till 7 p.m. and staying up all night until 1 because I have things to do and then getting back up at 5. So forgive me if I'm stuttering. I'm tired. But anyway... Um, book your one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, okay? Um, my booking sessions aren't open until after January, so February I'll be available, but you can book now. You don't have to wait. I am offering those one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you're ready to turn your pain into power by activating your sensuality and your sexuality, by coming into alignment with who and what you are, by cultivating your sensuality and sexuality for your mental health and for your personal development, for your well-being, so that you can remember who you are and why you chose to come to this planet, so you can remember why you were born at all, then contact me, okay? All the information is in the link tree link below. You can book with me on Simply Book Now. I'll see y'all in the next cast. Ciao.